Hey guys, what's up? How's everybody doing today? It's Keith, your buddy, your bro, your pal, your hombre. And I'm here again in the live room of Essex Recording Studios, just outside London in England, with another crazy, rare, very special guitar to show you today from my all-time favorite brand, Jackson. Before I get into it, everybody that's already part of the family, awesome. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for sticking around and watching the videos, liking them, leaving comments and everything else. For anybody that's new and just checking this out, maybe you're watching this guitar from Reverb or eBay or something like that. Go ahead and open up the YouTube video, click subscribe to the channel, and you'll see all the wild guitars I get from all over the world each and every day that I show you up close and personal so that we can all learn what these guitars are like as if you were holding them in your very own hands. Cool. So now about this one. What we have here is an original 1988 Jackson 88 Limited Edition Dinky. Reverse headstock. And uh, a lot of other cool features we're going to talk about here. So this is the only Jackson I've ever seen with limited edition on the headstock. I think that's super cool. You've got the smaller logo, which uh, you have to have on reverse headstocks because you run out of real estate here. So reverse headstock, small logo, limited edition. And check out the point. No chip on the point. That's amazing. Beautiful rosewood fretboard. We've got the offset mother of pearl dot inlays which are beautiful you've got the limited edition 88 at the 12th fret and the last few frets are actually scalloped on these models so many unique features the last few frets are scalloped you've got the reverse headstock cool we've got the, the slanted uh, single coil and Jackson humbucker there this is the Floyd Rose Two. What's interesting, I've never seen this bridge before. Um, so maybe you guys can comment on the video and explain it to me and anybody else who's wondering, what the heck is a Floyd Rose 2? Because it says Floyd Rose. It says licensed under Floyd Rose. And then it says made by, made in Germany by uh, Schaler or Scaler or Scaler. If you watch my videos, you know that I cannot pronounce that word and never will. But uh, yeah, so I don't think I've ever seen a bridge that says Floyd Rose and also licensed by Floyd Rose. That's kind of weird. Now, this is my favorite part of the guitar. And, oh, before I talk about it, one of the interesting things that I've always seen this guitar labeled as and kind of turned me off, if I'm going to be honest with you, is I always heard people call this guitar the blue jeans guitar or the denim guitar. And I was just like, eh... That, that doesn't, it just didn't sound appealing to me. And I guess the picture quality, you know, on eBay years and years ago when I was looking at them weren't, weren't the greatest. But what the, what it actually looks like is almost kind of like, um, how would I describe it? Kind of like faux finishing on a, on a wall. Like if you had a decorative wall with some special finishing, it's, it's a very cool and different graphic. It's not marbleized. It doesn't look like denim. Um, it just looks cool, kind of like watercolor is how I guess I would describe it. But you can see it here up close and in person. Now you know exactly what this paint scheme and graphic, if you want to call it that, looks like up close and in person. All right, now this is my favorite part. This crazy body, this crazy uh, cutout that's asymmetrical. So this one you have going straight, and then this one kind of rounds off early. Very, very cool. So what's that all about? What I've been told, or rather what I've read online, is that initially this was planned to be a 12-string. So you would have had, I guess, additional tuners or something down here, a, diff a different bridge and tuner configuration for 12 strings, and that they scrapped it at the last minute but kept the body design. And I'm so glad they did because that looks awesome. That is super, super, super cool. The neck profile on this guitar is quite possibly the best that I've ever felt on a Jackson. It's super comfortable. It's super thin. Um, this guitar is made for shredding. That's, that is for sure. You've got some light flaming on the back here. We go down. There's the scarf joint. 
and your Jackson labeled seal tuners. Again, I'm going to brag about this not chipped tip on the headstock. It's rather amazing given the fact that this is 30 years old. Got the original Jackson chainsaw case, which is in really good shape. Again, probably the best condition chainsaw case I've had. I've, I've had maybe like seven or eight of these that have survived the 80s, but that's the best one. Now we get to the 3D neck plate. So it has a San Dimas address. It's a custom shop, as you can see, because it doesn't have the double zeros. Uh, if you have two zeros in front of your serial number on a bolt-on, that means it's a normal USA production guitar. And then 88 for the year and 231. So this is number 231. I can't remember how many they made of these. It might, might have been 250. Um, I'll have to Google it or someone here will leave a comment that is smarter than me and is awesome at trivia. But very few of these made and I would think that this is probably the best condition one. I mean, I can't imagine anything being in better condition than this. It's just awesome. Neck pocket there. Neck pocket there. What a gorgeous guitar, guys. Cool. I'm going to flip it over one more time. And then uh, we got more videos to do today, everybody. Thanks for sticking around. Let me know what you think of this. I want to see some comments on this one for sure. And if you want to buy this guitar, it is for sale on our website, EssexRecordingStudios.com, hosted by our good buddies, Reverb.com. So if you go to Reverb, you type in Jackson USA Custom Shop 88, you're going to see this. And uh, if you want to see some pictures of it, I think we'll throw them up on Instagram. Hit me up on Facebook, too, if you want to chat about the guitar. It's at Essex Recording Studios for our Facebook and Instagram handles. Twitter is at Essex Recording. Awesome, guys. See you soon in another video coming right up.